Understanding the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium Score Report. This video will help you and your student learn about the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium, Smarter Balanced Assessments, and the Individual Student Report that you will receive from your student school. The Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium is a state-led consortium working collaboratively to develop next-generation assessments that accurately measure student progress toward college and career readiness. The work of Smarter Balanced is guided by the belief that a high-quality assessment system can provide information and tools for teachers, schools, students, and parents to help students succeed. Smarter Balance assessments are aligned to new academic standards for English language arts literacy and mathematics. These standards identify what students should know and be able to do to graduate high school ready for college and the workplace. They challenge students to develop a deeper understanding of subject matter, learn how to think critically, and apply what they are learning to the real world. The tests are given online and adapt to each student's ability, so they provide better information about the successes and needs of individual students than traditional tests. The assessments are untimed and students can take breaks so they can do their best. Tools like a calculator and spell check are built into the system for all students, and accommodations such as Braille are available for those who need them. Students in grades 3 through 8 and grade 11 take the Smarter Balanced Summative Assessments in Mathematics and in English Language Arts Literacy during the last 12 weeks of each school year. But Smarter Balanced is more than just a year-end test. Teachers will be able to administer interim assessments throughout the school year to check on student progress. They will also have access to tools and resources through a digital library to support student learning. Parents and students will receive the results of the assessments from their school in a readable and easy to understand individual student report, either as an electronic PDF file or as a printed report. Let's look at a sample individual student report to learn more about the information it provides. There are three pages to the report. The top right of this sample report shows that it is for Carissa Arnold, it also shows the name of her district and school and that she took the 6th grade summative assessment on May 15, 2015. The first page shows Carissa's performance on the mathematics assessment. At the top left, the report displays her overall score, 2393, on the assessment and the achievement level that this score represents, thorough understanding. Achievement levels reflect student progress toward college and career readiness. Below the date is the Achievement Level Descriptor, a statement that provides further information on the student's achievement level. The color-coded bar in the center of the report shows Carissa's overall score on a continuum of all possible scores. The error band indicates a range of possible scores that your student would likely achieve if he or she were to take the test multiple times. Below the bar, the report displays how students performed on claims or groups of test questions that measure similar or related knowledge or skills. For mathematics, there are three claim scores, one each for concepts and procedures, problem solving and modeling and data analysis, and communicating reasoning. Performance on claims is reported as either below standard, at or near standard, or above standard. Below each claim title, the report describes the knowledge and skills that the claim includes. For instance, we can see that Carissa demonstrated achievement that was above the standard for the communicating reasoning claim, which tests students on their ability to clearly and precisely construct viable arguments to support their own reasoning and to critique the reasoning of others. If your student was eligible for accommodations based on need, the report will have a section below the achievement results that lists all information about student accommodations. Page 2 of the report displays scores for the English Language Arts ELA Literacy Assessment. Here we see that Carissa's overall achievement was 1895 and reflects adequate understanding. We can also see Carissa's achievement in relation to the four claims for English Language Arts Literacy, reading, writing, listening, 
and research and inquiry. As with page one, which showed Carissa's mathematics achievement, the report describes the skills covered by each claim for English language arts literacy. For instance, we can see that Carissa was below the standard in research and inquiry, which assessed her on her ability to engage in research and inquiry, to investigate topics, and to analyze, integrate, and present information. The third page of the printed report contains explanations to help you better understand your student's individual student report. It provides information on the purpose of the report and how it can be used. It contains additional details to help you understand your student's score. It describes implications of changes to score summaries and how these data are reported. And it includes a legend to help you understand the colors, symbols, and error bands associated with your student scores. The individual student report will provide you and your student with information on his or her achievement and readiness for college and the workplace, so you and your school can better partner to support your student's success. Smarter Balanced also provides resources to support you, your student, and your school. Visit their website at smarterbalanced.org. Here, you can learn more about the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium and the Smarter Balanced Assessments. Find resources for parents and students, or try taking the practice test for your student's grade level. Be sure to check back frequently as Smarter Balance continues to develop resources to support your student's success.